Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play SimCity! Let's finish developing the rest of the sea tops in the northeast quadrant of Freedom City. First, let's do a little cleanup around here. Get everything connected back together again, now that we don't need the parks for the land value there. Although, let me see if there's... Yeah, we got one hiding back there! Get that out of the way now that we no longer need that. Don't need these anymore. Okay, I think that's everything there. Yeah, that ought to be. Oh, well, I want to connect some more power over here. Just get some backup supply. Okay, that ought to be good enough then. Let's see how many zones we're going to need for the next sea tops. I want to build two. C tops. So four commercial zones. I'll need nine residential and six industrial there. And these ones are going to be pretty easy to develop, not just because of the proximity to the center of the city, but also because of the four by four regions. Their land value is really, really good here. So yeah, all these, I don't even need to remove that police department. I don't think I do anyway. To get like a little extra land value out of it. Nah, I don't think that'll be necessary there. But I do need to have some transportation for all of these. So let's get those connected first. Okay, so we've got, yeah, the 4x4 four four regions here are all straight up here. And we've got, yeah, at least eight parks for, yeah, massive land value boost that'll really help out a lot. Let me just make sure... Yeah, yeah, okay, that ought to be good there. So yeah, all of those factors put together really will make these quite a bit quicker, unless, like, the middle two fuse together, and, well, then we'll have to pull some shenanigans to make everything work there. Now, with this 4x4 region, I need to leave the rails there, so that way this industrial zone will stick around. So yeah, I don't even need to go past the rail there, or onto the rail to get more land value out of it. I don't need these power lines because we got the ones on the right there now to take care of that. Okay, so if we go there, I'm just thinking, how high do I need to go with that? Okay, yeah, right there where I had the power lines. That ought to be good enough. Yeah, lots of open space around here too helps out a lot i'm gonna leave these rails in because that serves as a valid destin whoa i didn't realize there were so many here <laughs> but uh yeah that serves as a valid destination for all these residential zones without poking into the four by four regions of the new sea tops okay so we got all that i think that's everything i can do let's see i want to build another police department right here to help pull the center of the city further over there and then okay we need six industrial zones so let's see yeah that ought to be good perfect we got all those yeah the pollution will not harm the development of these sea tops even though they're a little close but they're right on the edge of the the 4x4 regions there, so they will be fine as far as that's concerned. Okay, so for this part, let's see how many residential, or, or well, yeah, residential zones I can build here. Well, just one. Okay. And then I want to get eight in the next column. So what I'm going to do is I want to put these two here with nothing over here because the horizontal uh, two by two grid there doesn't work very well here. They're going to be farther apart than these two will be. So we'll just take that or take care of that. Okay. And then, yeah, let's go around like that. Let's get a police department for a valid destination. The only one you need. And let's see, down here, let's see, I could put another police department for a valid destination get all that hooked up maybe some backup power lines while we're at it 
Okay, so we got all of that. I... Oh yeah, I need to look for a valid destination. Let's see, this one should be fine there. Okay, so we've got... Yeah, we got that going. Hmm. I'm just thinking... No, that would be too far. I was thinking about maybe putting some rails around here so these can go that way, but no, that would take way too long. Let's see, with these residential zones, I think they'll be fine. Let me see how many we've got here. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they'll be able to reach the police department up there. I'll need to connect some power, too. But otherwise, that should be okay. And let's see, around here, we can get another police department moving. Get all that connected. Very nice. And then, okay, so for this one, how about we do this? Yeah, just get that connected on the way over there. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave... Oh, wait, no, I need that connected. <laughs> I was going to leave it alone because I'm going to put some commercial zones in the area, but, uh... No, no, I need to be more careful than that. Okay, so we've got all that. Let's see, if anything goes down this way, we've got police departments ready to go. Let's get this connected. Thanks for reminding me, viewers. I heard you from the future. And then up here, yeah, I think everything's good. And we got all the zones that I need. All right, let's move along very slowly. Not that we have little money, but, well, actually, yeah. If, I mean, if you got a city this big, it's going to slow down a little bit there. Well, let's see how the rest of the residential zones handle. Okay, I... Actually, why don't we get a backup power line for the police department there? Then get rid of these guys. I mean, it's not like it's a big deal for the police department to lose power for a week. But it's the principle of the thing. Yeah, now that we're getting much closer to the center of the city, yeah, these residential zones will develop really nice. Okay, so they're all good to go there. Looks like we gotta wait for some land value to update over here. But looks like they're already on the right track, both literally and figuratively. Once I... Yeah, once we get these developing properly, then we can move a bit faster there. What is that, anyway? Oh, mid, okay. But, yeah, with all the new parks, it just takes a little while for it to update everything. Hopefully, the lower two commercial zones will fuse together eventually. But otherwise, let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why don't we check on how crime is doing? Let's see. Okay, yeah, nothing significant over here. Not in the commercial zones, anyway. Alright, so what do we got? Okay, so... Alright, all those are looking good. Yeah, we'll be fine at this point. So let's fast forward! Until the middle one there decides to develop. There you go. Now that'll make life a bit easier. And I don't have to worry about crime in the area. One of the few instances where I don't have to m remove police departments to get better land value. Not to mention with all the industrial zones there. That would well, reduce the land value and increase crime. Not to mention a lot of population density over there, too. Yes, very nice. Well, we might even get a art top over there. Don't see that very often around here. One thing I'm doing with the city also is I'm keeping the very middle of the map open. Partially because... 
that'll be where the center of the city will end up once everything is completely filled in and that'll all develop very quickly so i mean yeah i'm not even halfway to 600,000 but really all i need to do is get all of these sea tops done and then blow a whole bunch of money filling in the rest of the map and that'll be the easy part very quick too once you get all that and i should have plenty of money left over by the time i get there i also want to save some of my money at this point for the southeast quadrant because i'm probably going to need to move most of the industrial zones here over there to get the center where i want it to be but uh uh oh looks like we might have the middle two trying to get together but well we'll see about that okay come on fuse together up there get a room get on with it or not huh? almost there for an R top let me see if I can keep an eye on all of my potential tops here yeah that'll do close enough maybe we'll get an R top over here at some point but I'm not really worried about those developing if it does nice if it doesn't it's not part of my plans it's not absolutely crucial for residential zones we will have more than enough hey an R top and the C top and that means I can keep on going over here now since we got the upper one completed first okay so for the next part let's get four more commercial zones I can get both of them developing at the same time and then let's see yeah let's see how many we've got at this point oh uh, no not the graphs get into the totals there okay so let's see I'm going to need 10 residential zones and let's see okay so seven industrial so ten seven and four okay so with these ones let's see with the commercial zones let's see i don't want any of the commercial zones on the top row there because those wouldn't develop into tops so let's just go over here I might need to remove some stuff there, but I'll worry about that when I get there. For now, let's just get the remaining commercial zones going. Okay, so if I stay over here, that ought to be fine. And then, let's see. I'm thinking if I want to wait for these to develop, put some over here, but uh, nah, I don't think so. That won't be necessary. Let's just get it on over here. Okay, so we get those, and then 10 more of the residentials on this side. So, let's see. Okay, so... Four... Eight. And because of how the population density works with the 2x2 two two grid, I would put two residential zones here. But, we do have these commercial zones over here let's see how the 4x4 grid would work for that okay so right here yeah I'm gonna have to get rid of these in the middle here okay keep that out of the way okay so we we had okay right there and then I don't need to get rid of the police department but I do want to clear out some more rails eventually let's hold on a sec with that okay i think that'll be good let me see okay so we had that yeah yeah that'll do and then get some more up here i'll probably remove some more eventually just not right now okay then one two three four yeah, okay. Yeah, I can build the residentials there. They're not in any complicated 
four by four regions. But yeah, like I said, with the population density, these two will develop better because the centers are in neighboring two by two regions than if you're like this. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. It also looks nice, it's got a nice curve. And then, okay, so up here, Okay, so this is the 4x4 region for those guys. So let's get those out of the way. And I, I know I need to get some rails touching some of them. Let's see, if we go over here... Yeah, that'll uh, be a good valid destination. We don't need that. And actually, why don't we just put that there? So we don't need that. Okay, then... Yeah, we've already got power going over there, so that'll be good. Okay, so let's see, we got that. Okay, so... Let's see, I'm just going to leave that rail there for the commercial, for the C-top there. Okay, then let's see, that's good. Let's see, that's good. Yeah, I think everything's good here. Maybe get a backup power line here. Disasters can happen in easy difficulty. Not very often, but it, it could happen. Okay, so we got all of these zones put together. I think we're good to go, at least here. I'm thinking about something else that I want to get started. Yeah, why don't we uh, start something in the southeast quadrant here? Because... With the way that my C-taps are going to be, it's going to be mirrored here. So, one, two, three, four, like that. But this particular commercial zone is really difficult to develop because of the way the 4x4 regions work. So, I want to get this one done out of the way now. So, by the time I'm done in the Northeast Quadrant, this one will already be a C5 high. And that'll make everything a lot easier. So, let's get those out of the way. And I'm going to have to manipulate the center of the city again and all that stuff. Okay, that ought to be good. I'm just thinking if I need to get rid of the police department there. Let's see. Okay, so we got that. Why don't we just leave this alone for now? Let's see. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, that ought to be good to remove a dead end for a valid destination. And then, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave this here for now. I think that'll develop fine. But if it doesn't, I can remove some more stuff. Yeah, that ought to be good. Okay, so we've got everything here. Yeah, I'll have one more commercial zone, but that won't upset, like, the balance of my zones or anything like that. Not just the one. Oh, wait, hold on. We're not ready yet. We need to get some transportation over here. Okay, so, let's see, with this, okay, just keep it out of that area, and that should be fine. Okay, so, this one's okay, even if it's just the, the one rail that I'm gonna keep there. Like, the upper one, that'll hit both of the middle two commercial zones, and then over here... see. Okay, we got that. Okay, so if I go like that, that'll not only work for this one, but it'll work for that one, so we can get a little more out of that. Okay, and then get a little power over there. Yeah, I think we're good to go. If I need to remove some of these, I could, but I'd like it to be a valid destination. Or actually, you know what? If I go around here, that should take care of that, too. Okay, so we got that. Then we got power over here, power over here. Okay, let's get it on. Now we've got everything where I want it to be. And wait for the power to cycle there. Yeah, actually, you know what? Why don't we uh, double check everything? Make sure I've got... Okay, good, good. Let's see, I thought there was a little crime cropping up around here. Hmm. Yeah, I could use uh, maybe a police department 
over here. But, uh, yeah, why don't we start with removing these two. Get those out of the way, and while I'm waiting for them to get back on track, I can look up where I want to put a police department around here, because it looks like the crime is going to get pretty high once I finish that last C-top there. Okay, so with all of those... Okay, yeah, I see where I can put one right in the middle there, actually. Right over here. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good enough for that. Oh, and I need transportation, though, for this commercial zone now, when I remove that. Hmm. Let's see, if I go here, that would affect both of those, though. Hmm. These ones I'm probably more concerned about. So, how about we just do it this way? Yeah, put that there. And that'll take care of that. Okay. Let's try that one again. No more schools or hospitals. I don't want to hear it. This is a dictatorship, not a democracy. Okay, so let's see. We've got all of that hooked up. Let's see if we can get this one moving. When, whenever the C-Tops finish, they'll finish. I don't mean to really stay on top of that. Although this commercial zone is a bit far from the center of the city. That's part of why I want to get this going in advance. But if it doesn't develop into a high-class zone, then I can remove the police department there. But we'll wait and see. Or maybe not see, evidently. But, uh, okay. Alright, so, yeah, we got all the land value working over here. Very nice. So, yeah, I really don't need to keep an eye on that for right now. This is the only one that strongly concerns me. And why don't we see what's going on with the problems around here? Yeah, lots of pollution because of the density in the northeast quadrant there. And then, okay, so let's get... Let, let's take a look at crime now. Very nice. Yeah, as long as it's not getting into the light green or yellow... That's fine. Okay, so let's see what we get, can do with this one. I still want to keep it on the slower speed in the event that I need more land value, but looks like I don't. It's very nice. Yeah, good thing I planned ahead with that part over there. Hey, we got another sheet top. Nice. But yeah, I was just thinking about what I'm going to do in the no, the southeast quadrant there. What order I would need to build everything. And I noticed that particular commercial zone was giving me a lot of trouble. But yeah, just building it in advance should take care of the problem. Okay, let's see how we got, or how we're doing with the land value here. Okay, so I think I could build, yeah, the rails all the way up to here without creating any other problems. So let's do that. Okay, so let's see. I'm just thinking how far do they need to go. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they'll be able to reach up here. I mean, they were able to reach over here, so why not? Okay, so we got that. See if there's anything hidden behind these things. Okay, looking good. Let's see, how about... This kind of bothers my OCD, having the rail and the power line there, but I'm going to need to destroy it later anyway. So, I'll tolerate it for now. But all right, now let's fast forward until we can get these C-tops finished up. Yeah, it's going to take a little while for the 
residential zones up there to finish developing. Hmm, I want. Oh, no. I was gonna say, I wonder if they're too far from stuff, but if they go over here, they'll hit the police department. So, we don't need to worry about that. Yeah, I'm just making sure, like, wait a minute, do I need any more rails over there for the. You know, let me check that. Okay, yeah, the one rail I have there is barely in range. I was like, didn't look like it hits the upper part of that sea top there. But, no, no, it, it's good. We're, we're good to go. How are we doing down here? Almost done. That'll really, that'll help out with uh, two sea tops actually over there. Just getting that one knocked out, ready to go. It does offset the balance of my zone types. But I don't think that'll be a long-term problem. Now one thing you might notice, yeah, a lot of my uh, residential zones are degrading there. What gives? And that's really gonna upset the zone balance. The reason that's happening, or at least the reason I think that's happening, is because I've moved the center of the city so far to the northeast that the land value is crashing down there. And unlike my sea tops, the residential zones are always like in a state of flux. You need to constantly keep that land value going. That's why I'm developing the sea tops first, get them all maxed out, and then we can fill in everything else. But yeah, there's no point in even, like, dealing with that right now. Just get the sea tops going over here. And eventually, we're going to have to do some more renovations to the city, if you know what I mean, viewers. But we're almost done here. I hope I have enough land value. <laughs> we should. Maybe. I've got, yeah, there we go. I've got another sea top. That was harder of the two because they didn't have as many home tiles in their 4x4 four four regions. I just love analyzing all the, like, the different regions. Like, the first thing I learned when I was getting into this version of the game was, like, the 4x4 four four regions with using gifts and land value and all that. And then there was... The 8x8 eight eight regions for crime and fire department coverage. Or, well, no, not crime. With the, Crime, I think, is 2x2, two two, but police coverage is 8x8, eight eight, as well as for uh, uh, fire departments as well. And only relatively recently have I really gotten an understanding of the 2x2 two two regions for population density. And that's helped me quite a bit, as you can see in this column of the city there. Well, at least we got one R top going there. Let's see, how is the land value here? Okay, so we've got the home 4x4 region good there. This is always a problem, though, when two commercial zones share the same 4x4 grid. But, let's see, I could move that rail out of the way. Let's see, if I go right there, that just stay out of any of its 4x4 regions. Although, I don't think that much land value would make a difference. Okay, that's good. Up top is good. Below is good. And the left is good. That's as good as I can get without destroying anything. So, the rail isn't in the way. Actually, you know what I could do? Why don't we straighten this out now? Get that out of the way. That ought to be good. And then just wait for this one to finish. Yeah, we're all good down there. Did I connect all my rails here? Okay, good. I was concerned about the residential zones over there. Well, I got the C-top to 
happened earlier today, but now it's being stubborn. Yeah, why don't we fast forward until this thing finishes up? I'm just thinking of what else could be affecting that. I'm kind of surprised my RCI demand gauge is still balanced, even with all of those residential zones degrading over there. I don't know. But I'll wait a little longer. But if not, well, I can figure it out off screen. And... Ah, there we go. All right, got all the C-tops ready to go. Okay, so for the rest of this, let's get that reconnected. Get you out of the way. I don't think it actually matters that any of the the tiles of rail, like what direction they're facing, like as far as valid destinations are concerned, which is all I would really care about here, they'll still look for a tile that is a rail or a road there. And they don't care what direction it goes to, even though it doesn't make logical sense that, you know, a, a horizontal road connected to a vertical road would work. Now, now. Okay, so we got all that. Let's see. Yeah, we got that hooked up up there. Okay, I think we're good there. Let's just take one last look at crime. I might need a little help up top here or there could be completely no crime over there why not okay well that's good enough I, there are some more police departments that i can build over here but yeah the crime is negligible at this point so i'm gonna worry about that when i have a lot more money but what are we gonna do with all the money we've got here in the southeast quadrant find out next time on let's play sim city this is h bailey signing off have a good day!